While young Sheldon's spinoff Georgie and Mandy's first marriage always seemed like it would inevitably have a major Sheldon problem, the show's issue is not one that viewers might anticipate. It is always hard for sitcom spinoffs to establish a fresh new tone of their own. From Frasier to Joey, plenty of sitcom spinoffs have tried to make their main characters compelling in the absence of their former co-stars, with carrying degrees of success. However, the title of Young Sheldon's spin-off Georgie and Manny's first marriage alone proves that the new show has a compelling hook that doesn't rely on Sheldon. By the Big Bang Theory's finale, it was clear that Sheldon had become the show's breakout character. Ironically, this process was reversed by the time Young Sheldon's finale aired, as viewers had come to love the rest of the Cooper clan as much as Sheldon. The continued adventures of Missy, Mary, and Mima would have been as engaging as seeing Sheldon's life in Caltech. But there was one lingering mystery that was particularly hard to ignore. The Big Bang Theory revealed that Georgie was divorced, but young Sheldon ended with him happily married. Georgie and Mandy's first marriage isn't missing Sheldon, but it should be. Mandy's brother Connor feels like a Sheldon clone. This is where Georgie and Mandy's first marriage comes in. Theoretically, Georgie and Mandy's first marriage could explain Georgie and Mandy's breakup in a way that expands on the character's existing personality, turning him from the idealistic young Sheldon self to his older, more cynical, the Big Bang Theory incarnation. There is just one problem with this. Since Sheldon was the connective tissue between the Big Bang Theory and young Sheldon, it is hard to imagine Georgie and Mandy's first marriage existing without him. At the same time, his comeback would risk overshadowing the show's new main characters and their shared story. Like Sheldon, Connor is brusque, socially awkward, stiff, and coddled by his mother. Like the Big Bang Theory's upcoming Stuart spinoff, Georgie, and Mandy's first marriage was left in a double bind. Ignoring Sheldon means the show risks disappointing longtime fans but adding him to the cast makes the spin-off little more than a direct continuation of young Sheldon's story. Georgie and Mandy's first marriage solved this with the reintroduction of Mandy's brother Connor, now played by Dovey Baldwin. Like Sheldon, he is brusque, socially awkward, stiff, and coddled by his mother. Connor's Georgie and Mandy's first marriage character is bizarrely similar to Sheldon, considering he is ostensibly an artsy, sensitive misfit. Young Sheldon's Connor recasting offered Georgie and Mandy's first marriage a story to address its Sheldon's replacement problem. Georgie and Mandy's first marriage recasting missed a trick. In fairness to Georgie and Mandy's first marriage, Connor's character was already established as similar to Sheldon in Young Sheldon Season 6, Episode 12, A Baby Shower and a Testosterone-Rich Banter. There, Connor was played by Joe Apollonio. However, since Georgie and Mandy's first marriage already decided that the new show was going to recast the character, the spinoff could have introduced a new personality for Connor that was less derivative of Sheldon. If Connor were a touchy-feely, sensitive peacenik, he would be equally at odds with both Georgie and the McAllister family, but less obviously reminiscent of Sheldon. This approach would also have made more sense when it comes to Audrey's relationship with Connor. Although Georgie and Mandy's first marriage proved Audrey can't stand her son-in-law, Georgie, she has an undisguised soft spot for Connor. Audrey coddles him while his father feels alienated from him, mirroring the dynamics shared by Georgie, his mother Mary, and his brother Sheldon. The first episode proved that Mandy's mother treats Connor like Mary treated Sheldon further underscoring the similarities between Connor and Sheldon, and making this new supporting star feel even more like a knockoff of the original hero.